This is straight up the place to be. This is the banger. You don't want to miss it. Come out if you get the chance. Keep those notifications on at Team Solstice, whatever yeah, it is on Twitter. Keep if you want a chance in this bracket. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's five dollars down the gutter, bro. <laughs> that's just five dollars, Brandon. For uh, for anyone that's for anyone that's missed it, uh, <laughs> my good friend Advo and my good friend Kepler made a bet that I didn't make a bet. That's between them. Oh, that's it's between, between them. them? I'm uh -huh. just listening. <laughs> okay, bet, bet, bet. I got you. All right. So the bet was that uh, within the first few, like if the first move Pikachu did was dash attack, if it hit. <laughs> then, then uh, Brandon would make money. I, dude, I would have made him money, dude. Dude, three to one. Spec should like <laughs> the Smashboard pivot to make sure that he lost his money, bro. He <laughs> said, "F you." <laughs> dude, three to one. I would I would have ran straight in. I would have gotten hit immediately. <laughs> I'm 100 percent sure. Not only that, our boy Cammy's down 94 percent right now. Yeah. That's the thing about the matchup. Pikachu gets swatted around fairly easily in this matchup. Just the whole bubble that Lucina has. Yeah. Really good at just keeping it like. The zone that Pikachu wants to be in is that inside that bubble. Mm -hmm. I also feel like the pace that this matchup happens at, I feel like this first stock is probably going to be quite important because both of these characters have the ability to like slow it down a lot and really milk leads. So. Especially Pikachu. Yeah. If Pikachu's down on that clock, like yep. the pressure's on, but like at a comfortable percent lead like this, just like looking for like that one kill opportunity. Yeah. Spectral will have Spectral will have nothing to worry about. Yeah. So I really think that like leads are going to be a like like a big deal in in watching like literally how this matchup ends up being played out. Um, but right now it's just they're both kind of looking to find a meaningful hit. Spectral has been getting a few, but Camel's just been doing a good job of using Pikachu's tools to get himself out of disadvantage. So he's getting his hits, but he's just not able to quite make them stick. Yeah, but, no, uh, nothing too explosive coming from yeah. either of these players. Just, you know, again, like taking that gradual percent this last like 30 so seconds. Just looking for, again, that window. That, that, was, a, that was a kill move, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one right there. I know. I know. My good friend Dilster has a lot of <laughs> a lot to say about Lucina Neutral Air and working. And that's oh my god! Whoa! Oh, with the up smash. But Dude. without those like explosive like confirms that just get you those early kills is either Pikachu with the loops and to just whatever like those like combos in with Lucina not getting those like early confirms. It's gonna like look at it. Two yeah. minutes. Almost three and a half minutes, two and a half minutes off the clock, and we're only on stock two right now. Yeah, dude, evening it, evening it up right there, like off of a neutral interaction immediately before, like you know, you get starting to, you get hit by loops or you get like carried by a back air. Just neutralizing the stocks before the opponent has a chance to run away. Like, like I said, dude, I really do think that having a lead is gonna play a lot into this matchup if one is ever able to build, and it's keep, it's keeping in the same ballpark right now, which is yeah, that's the thing. All both players, like while some of them have had the lead, is like throughout the match has it been too strong to like sit comfortably yeah You're like you got to come to me now like yeah. it's both been like oh now i'm in this situation i gotta find myself yeah. out of it which is like yeah it hasn't been enough to change their game plan yet. Mm -hmm. just not enough to change the game plan not enough to like really get them out of the comfort zone either just like they're just doing their thing and like you know finding themselves in these yeah. different situations right now lucina at the ledge oh whoa yeah it's so far, the the neutral specifically has been a lot of like a lot of boxing moves out of Lucina, like lots of down tilts and like in place snares that aren't super committal and like will just land and be safe. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's started so he's started there. to pull that out a little bit. That shield breaker has it. Oh, that's a kill. That's that's really good positioning to be in a spot where if Pikachu does side B, which sometimes they'll do to make their angle a little easier, that you're just there to you're just there to hit it. Mm -hmm. so that was very preemptive, like very preemptive of him to, to put himself there. Which yeah, no, you got to be careful. Lucina can move that bubble wherever she wants. Yes. So you got to be mindful of that recovery. Yes. Pikachu could be slippery with it, but if you're as predictable as that, that's a stock. And that's three minutes on the clock, so yeah, we've got to spend the whole time catching up. Pikachu, without that explosivity, going to be playing hella time. Mm -hmm. uh, good. He got like a 29 off of like a grab. Here's another grab. Um, just kind of, the first, this is the kind of point where it's, we were talking about, Lucina, it's every hit is like creating advantage, creating more percent, and causing uncomfortable situations. But on the other side, Pikachu just needs the one good hit, and it's like indiscriminate. It just has to happen one way or another. He's not enough to get the snipe. Just look at anything at 160 percent with nothing yeah. to like really like nothing to seal the deal except that like bad dash attack. Dash attack yeah. coming through. That usually does end up being the fallback move sometimes. It's either that dash attack or like if the percent gets there, it's the up throw when usually Pikachu starts getting in that I can't kill spot. But uh, this is now in the spot where Camel has to make his hits start to stick because 
He is fighting a little bit of an uphill battle right now. We gotta and keep him uncomfortable. Once you get it going, you gotta keep it going. We got two minutes left on the clock. If the pacing keeps as is, Spectral might take this game. Oh my god. And I mean, I'm sure we both know the, the difference in, like not only is Campbell working up a stock percent, the value of the percent is different too, because we know that kill percent for Lucina and kill percent for Pikachu are very different things. It just just mining like Spectral knows. Oh. Pikachu wow. wants in that space and she's just not allowing it. Good stuff for Spectral holding down the fort for that game. I won. Yeah, reacting to the upbeat. So that up B is a little bit of a mix up just in the way that it is, but reacting to the fact that he crossed him up and then crossed him up again, and it just happened to be the side that he was facing and the right spacing for him to just toss the up B out of shield. I am excited to see, not excited, I'll, I'll keep it a buck. I'm curious <laughs> Very to see curious. What, what stage they go to. Honestly, I, I think they might have ran a bag, but. Oh no, FD. Yeah. All right. Right. I think this is significantly more desirable also. That Smashville pick was, did feel a little funny because Lucina and most sword characters just have, there's so much range under that little platform and they can just suffocate you with all the so area. So much they, space to control. Yeah. Also just a good opportunity to, like, to reset like when their aerials can come out. I'm going to land on this platform, I'm going to fall with this and I know when it's going to land. Yeah. Now that that like has been removed, like nothing but a juggle opportunity like for Pikachu once it gets Lucina above him. Yep, 100%. But uh, this, this match already playing out very differently. Um, FD specifically, just because it's one big flat stage, the hits, whoa, my god, I saw the start of the down air, and I got <laughs> I got distracted, because that's the kill move if I've ever, if I've ever seen that. But FD, just in general, since it's such a flat stage, there isn't really, like, platforms to trick people into, like, your landing, hits do tend to stick here a lot more. It's, it's a lot more of a slower paced stage with ledge trapping and juggling, as opposed to, you know, the faster paced up and down game on platforms. Yeah, no. Mix-ups have like, just been like that much like cut down. Cami doesn't have to think too much about like, okay, what's well, gonna land you? It's just like I know when you're gonna come down. I'm gonna just yeah. watch you. I'm gonna get my stuff going. Let's get it. Yep. So one minute in, both uh, relatively even as percent. Both not gonna get the kill super right away. If he can get the read on the shield, which he yeah. doesn't, and in fact he's now off stage right now. Whoa, Ooh. my God, that was so he. He, he went low and Spectrum tried to jump over him because it's just kind of the, the natural thing you'd want to do with a very up and down linear recovery like Lucina. And uh, that Thunder really, really not what I expected, but also that same up out of shield, dude. We saw it last game. And, uh, Coming in handy for Spectral to set. Uh, every time he hits a shield at those high percents, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Way too fast of an option out of shield. You gotta keep yourself disciplined with the moves you're using, especially when a kill move like that is on the table. You gotta, you gotta really be careful. Watch out. You gotta really start to consider, like, okay, well, he's gonna expect me to hit the shield. Can I base this out? What's yeah. he gonna do if I, like, you know, dance around it a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Instead of just getting whacked at 120 at the ledge. Yeah, 100%. And even on top of that, you have to really start to consider, is this move even worth trying to go for in this situation? Because, exactly. you know. Exactly. Like, what am I getting? Like, what's my risk reward, yeah. you know? Because if, if, if the reward isn't that much, if the reward is just, you know, an F-tilt or something, but the risk is your stock taken out of shield, that's the, those are the kind of macro decision makings that really show up in game. Especially in a slow matchup like Especially this. something like this, yeah. Because we haven't really seen quite yet, we haven't really seen any super early stocks taken, any big edge guards or shield breaks or tech chases or anything of this. Oh, oh my god, I, I almost tanked all of it, bro. <laughs> I really thought he was going to go all in for that one. <laughs> No, but exactly, you know, we're not seeing any of the Nair loops. We're not seeing, like, any, like these super, like, Lucina falling side B into Nair, into forward smash type of combos. We're yeah. just seeing, like, I'm a funky, I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable. Yep. I'm going to hope I get the read. Most of the, if, besides, like, the landing on the shield and getting the up the out of the socks, most of these stocks have just been reads. Yeah. They're Whoa. really just, like, out here hoping, like, they fall into, like, okay, come into my bubble, come into my bubble. I'm going to smack the crap out of you. Yeah. Spectral. Right there. Oh my god. Barely living. Barely living, yeah. Oh, but I think that snipe. snipe is it. That's it, yeah. And that high percent and the angle it sends you at, that will take your stock if you jump into it at the wrong spot. All right. Spectral on his last stock, but not his last game. Let's see if he can even it back up. Oh, he gets another one? Opportunity. Oh, it's still alive, dude. He has no jump also, but grab the ledge safely. This corner pressure, dude. He's covering the rolls and he's covering all the area around where he is. Makes oh. you scared to go anywhere. He I don't know if you saw that. Not, he barely lived. His last percent. Dude, that was, was the last percent. He was straight to the corner, bro. Oh my god. Whoa. All right. Good. Good little. Kept him in shield, even though we parried it. But that that little flicker of the shield allowed him to 
up B straight back to the center and get himself off the ledge. Oh, the last bit of that fair going to be Whoa. there. Got an opportunity, but too high percent to tech. We're now on our last stock. Really makes you wonder. I know that move is frame one invincible, and that downer looked like it was out. But sometimes when it's a matter of frames, it's really hard to tell what caused the decision, uh, the difference maker. Let's just be honest. Lucina's up B isn't the most honest thing in the yeah. game here. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Yeah. Not the worst, but certainly not the most yeah, honest either. not the best either. Oh, the swing missing, and now he's off stage. Gets Whoa. the force smash read, not strong enough. The to coverage really on the ledge right now is so good. Again, just no platform to retreat. This yeah. is what Cammy wanted. Oh, that's it. Nice. That was solid, dude. Just covered the jump, and he's been doing this. He's been doing this where he's he's been covering the jumps, because he's he's kind of got spectral in a spot where he's been picking regular getup a lot. And when you when you when you pick regular getup like that, there's a few choices. You can either challenge the situation immediately, try to grab it right as it happens, or you can hold your stage and try to play the corner pressure game. And when he's been playing the corner pressure game, he's been trying to cover jumps and rolls a lot. And that was the one time he mixed it up where after trying to cover a jump, he didn't go back. He didn't drift back to center. He fell on him with the combo starter, and it, I mean, it got him the game, so. Uh, yeah, no, and again, like without those options, the scene is hard pressed to just keep doing those options. Exactly. And so Kami, especially with the speed of Pikachu, could just cover, you know, like with ease. And that's what we saw right there, just comfortably on his last stock, I'm gonna get this ledge. I'm gonna yeah. get this stock right here. Mm -hmm. So good stuff from Kami, getting what he needed out of that counter pick. But now we're going to game three. It's Spectral's turn, and I, yeah. I kind of want to see where we go. I'm kind of snooping on the big TV up there. Yeah, I know. And we're we going to Green Greens. <laughs> and we're going, going to Green going Greens, to Green bro. Those Ship bombs it. are on their way. Sign seal delivered. We're, Popping we're going, off, bro. blowing up here at Oasis. Game three, <laughs> round one. Does yep. it get better than this? Oasis stage list is revolutionary. A anyone still running <laughs> Northern Cave, please take notes. Bro, bro. We, go, we could take it back to Congo Jungle. Game Watch is up there <laughs> all night. All night. <laughs> Yeah, right. but I mean, I mean, in a game like Smash, dude, it's so hard. there's so many moving parts at all times. It's hard to look at one thing and say this was the decision maker. But I would be hard pressed to not look at that last game and say FD made a big difference. Oh, so and if you can see right here, yeah, I'm actually incredibly opposite. shocked that this stage is left <laughs> open. This is like one of Lucina's favorite stages. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think this is one of Lucina's like like, like the triplats. You know, mm -hmm. it's got so many like just like more dimensions of movement yeah. in this like stage right here. Just options are open now. Like the way they're spaced out, but they're not the same as Battlefield. We all know that. Like Pikachu doesn't have he's gotta work a little bit harder to cover that space now as well. So it's yeah. Again, I wonder that this stage was open, but but I'm sure Kami can make it happen. Spectrum can make it happen. Here we're at game three, let's get it. Lucina especially with all those like just the way her jungle game works and how much she like just how she juggles, she gets in the air and she kind of drifts around a lot. It gets really, feels really suffocating to land on this stage against her sometimes. But I do think there's probably some thought behind Camel leaving it open. Uh, I'm assuming the Thunder Jolt's riding the wall as he recovers is one. And the other one is Pikachu on those slants, dude. He's already hard to hit normally, <laughs> but... <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, dude, his Surfax definitely stops existing a little bit, but... Well, as we're seeing, like, smaller oh. blast zones, the ability to pancake, Covering recovery options with the Thunder Jolt. I Definitely could see a lot in play, yeah. And right now, I think with just like based off of how the match has been going so far, Cammy is not too uncomfortable here either. So it makes yeah. you wonder, you know, like is Spectral play himself? We're gonna find out. Yeah. Oh, oh. sneaky. Spectral getting a little ambitious with how much of his threat range he was trying to extend off stage and just get sucked up by that thunder. We saw the last game start like that too. In fact, that same move is what opened the lead last game, which, I mean, we've been talking about all game one, is really, really something that can easily change the game plan of both these players. Mm -hmm. just, to, just again, just respecting like what the characters can do, where the bubble is at, what you got. If that's oh, the second that time. He had his jump. I thought I thought he might have steed there, bro. He just rolled the wall. Just got, can't be letting the same things happen over and over again unless they just absolutely yeah. press you into that. I if you're throwing yourself off stage to get downbeat and like killed, oh. Uh, I think he was. I think he was probably holding too many angles because he tried to throw a thunder jolt at the ledge also. So probably Tragic. probably reset to neutral on accident or something. <laughs> I like that tech chase. That was that was, <laughs> that, was, that, was that was creative. Oh, he's kind of bringing it back pretty fast right now with the edge guards especially. Yeah, and these Lucina aerials, dude, they bleed damage. Just you, you stop paying attention for just enough, and the percent's even, and then you're soon getting lapped, too. The biggest fault, I would kind of say this on both players to say, they just kind of been falling each other's shields right now, you know? Not really, like, with the safest yeah. moves, just, like, 
I'm hoping he doesn't punish his kind of mentality yeah. right here. And they're both trying to play play a little bit more on the conservative side, so they're not getting too antsy on trying to punish things that maybe you can. Yeah. Just between those two things, like, again, like, it's drawn out the time, and as that time goes on, it, it's a matter of who's going to feel uncomfortable first. Yeah. Just like, oh, crap, that, it's already three minutes. I'm only on my second stock. I haven't really made anything happen. Can't really make anything happen right now. It's just like, who's going to craft first? Yeah. I love the way Camel is covering the space above Lucina's head, knowing that Lucina's threat range when she's in the air is significantly more threatening than when she's just on the ground, and it's just, oh my god, everything's missing right now. It's between Lucina yeah. and Lemon and everything, it's a miracle! <laughs> yeah, he's really aware of the fact that he would much rather Lucina be on the ground and only threatening with down tilt than in the air and threatening with all of her aerials. Just looking for one of these dash attacks, and that was the third one that missed. Oh, oh my, my god, goodness, dude, the spacing so is off again! But the uh, ultra will take it. Yeah, he's he's shown that he's willing to cover everything else, and the one time, the one time he's he, he goes in and gets the grab, it's at the percent where he kills. Very very smart, saving that trick right for when it mattered. Oh, that could have been the grab, but that's okay. Dare's gonna make him fall. Camel's really adapted his uh, his recoveries from the first game. He's not getting edge guarded at all. His jumps are always right outside the Lucina sword. Oh, that spot dodge Everything's just hitting him with that speed. spot dodge. It's going to be oh. air dodge, my bad. Game three goes to Camel. Yeah, well, I will tell you guys this. Camel walked over to uh, walked over to our little station here.